in the recent outbreak of Ebola, there have been over 28,000 cases, resulting in over 11,000 deaths. This was what everybody was reading on the news. But what excites me most about biomedical engineering is being able to help people with the skills that I possess. So when I learned about the Ebola Design Challenge, I immediately signed up that night. So the number one reason for this design challenge was this notion, that you have the bravest, the most passionate, the most selfless people in West Africa taking care of Ebola patients. And they are there with suboptimal gear. And many of them are losing their lives in the process of doing that. So we decided early on to make this an all Hopkins, all hands on deck design challenge. What the challenge was, was to deal with PPE, which is personal protective equipment for Ebola workers. And we started to subdivide the problem into some discrete topics, like visibility of the healthcare worker, removing the garment carefully, more fluidly, and then comfort. In fact, Gabby worked on, on that team that focused on the thermal cooling of the, of the suit. In the areas where there were outbreaks in Africa, a lot of times the humidity could reach up to 100% and temperatures were 100 to 115 degrees. So they had to don and doff, which is the taking on and off of the Ebola PPE, every hour or less to not get heat stroke. So this becomes very dangerous when you have this virus on the outside of the suit. So my group decided to focus on the cooling and the venting to increase the amount of time that the caretaker can stay in the PPE. Material which are air permeable and, mostly and now the current suit has multiple vent systems, especially in the face mask. And the top two vent systems allow the user to breathe in air, and the bottom one allows the user to exhale out air. We also now have double the amount of filter fabric. So undergraduates bring an amazing world of fresh perspectives just raw creativity and intellect to these challenges. And I think Johns Hopkins is a place where you bring these amazing students together with amazing experts, and then you get something totally new. And together with Johns Hopkins Technology Ventures, we were able to get a licensing deal done with DuPont for the Ebola suit. And we expect product in the market in record speed. And when people wear that product, they're going to be safer and they're going to be more comfortable and they're going to do their job better. So the work that Gabby did, the work that other undergraduates did, other students did in that design challenge is going to save lives. And having these sorts of opportunities, like getting the Kenneth Edwin Shaw Scholarship is making a big difference in my life. So I think it's really important to give back wherever you are in your life. And I'm currently a teacher at the community school at Remington. The fact that the clinicians and sponsors and all the professors really trusted me to actually partake in the Ebola challenge and have an opinion on it was really important to me. Although I was contributing such a little portion to a huge team, it, the experience definitely gave me a lot of confidence in terms of applying my knowledge to something that I haven't done before. And it allows people to go into the future knowing that they can make an impact in the world.